<laughs> hey bugs welcome back to my channel it's the boy here from body garbage and my bestie <laughs> she didn't want to be on camera but i pulled her in anyway so today what we have for you guys is a tutorial on how to build yourself a uh display yep yeah display for any events that you're going to so I'll show you my wood piece here so this is just a two by four by two from Home Depot very cheap dollar thirty seven if you have a craftsman at home then you can get you a long one and chop it up yourself but five of these came together in a bundle um, I actually have I bought 12 all together so we actually put one together already, and um, this is gonna be our second one on camera. Uh, we also used some wood stain, and that's in the color of ebony. So it's black, as you all know. I love pink, I love black, and my colors are normally pink and black, so I just wanted something to match my color scheme for my table. So <laughs> let's get together. All right, so we have like I said, six pieces of our two by fours by two. And we're going to lower the camera <laughs> so you can actually see what's going on. Sorry if that made anybody a little bit dizzy, but I just want you to see what's going on down in this region. So, Jessica, if you will, let me just move these over. You can leave them on the table. I just want to move them over so we can do it like how we did the last one. cry for my little emoji um, table <laughs> cover. It's actually my mom's, don't tell. Alright, so basically what you want to do, um, let me move this because I'm not on Basically what you want to do is just take your base part and we're going to have it stacked up in levels. And you can make this as large as you want um, with as many levels as, as you want. Mine for the time being is just going to be three. If you want to do four or five, then that's up to you. You That's how many um, two by fours by twos that you would need. Or however big you want to get um, your wood. So the whole premise, and I'll do it um, this way, is to have your bottom. You can always stack soap along this way and then your and this will be your first tier and then you have your second tier here and then your third tier in the back and i'm missing one and this is why i bought 12. so this will give me um two setups i'll just pull this back so you can see what i mean by the um the stair step so we're going to start with our first piece and as I said, if you want to do more, then that's how you would stack it up. So your next row would be four, and then your next row would be five, and so on, depending on how you want it done. So because this is going to be our first tier, we're just going to take our wood block, and as you can see, like I said, I stained it with the color ebony. So we're going to take our wood block with some wood glue and just put this on top my wood glue is like extra thick <laughs> it's kind of bougie it doesn't want to come out but that's fine um you can also use um if you have a drill with drill bits and screws or nails or have whatever goes into a drill you can also use that as well to make it a little bit easier for you um me i'm just going to spread this out with my finger it's not that big of a deal <clears throat> if i get some spillage I can always just go back over it again with the um, the wood stain, and that'll be fine. You just want to make sure that at least when you are doing this, if you are going to use wood glue, to make sure that it um, you have wood clamps or something heavy to keep this together so that um, it'll stick. You at least ne need to let the wood glue stay. And this is Gorilla Wood Glue. I don't think all wood glue is equal, but for Gorilla Wood Glue, if you're going to use that for this project, 
then I need you to at least allow it to stay for and the bottle says 20 to 30 minutes but an hour would be um, best and you can use wood clamps to um, hold this steady together I'm not gonna use that right now um, but I am going to add on my back piece for the third tier so glue me baby I say glue me, not, not stab the wood. There we go. Psycho. She's still high off of that movie that we watched. So we were watching um, this movie on Netflix called Windmill. I actually saw it already. I wanted her to watch it. She didn't care. So, you know, we like horror movies. That's only that's the only reason why she's my best friend. I don't like her otherwise. <laughs> but it's on Netflix, so if you guys want to check it out, you can. But basically, if you've ever seen that movie Devil, it kind of has the same premise, except for nobody's stuck in anything per se. But um, you know, they are like fighting the devil or whatever have you, or trying not to go to hell. So, we're just going to leave this like this. And Jessica, if you will, can you help me tip this over so it doesn't spread apart? And this is where your wood clamps would come in handy. I don't have any. I opted, uh, and then that just came off, right? And I opted, let's just make sure they're even. And I opted not to get any. They were kind of expensive. So, I mean, if you have, like, something sturdy, maybe some, um, like, um, what is that stuff called that you wrap the newspaper with? Like, that rope? Or, like, a bungee cord or something, like, you wrap your newspaper with? If you have that, that'd be great to use. Just something to hold it together, because as you can see, this is very slippery, and, um, it will, you know, not stick together. Alright, I need a little bit more right here. Yeah, just put some on that side. Alright. Okay. So now that that's done, and our fingerprints are all over it, looking great, <laughs> we're going to do our second tier. And don't be like me. You want to make sure that this is fully dry. We don't have that kind of time around these parts. Um, Jessica does have two children, which are my god babies. <laughs> so she has to get home to her babies. And she was nice enough to come and hang out with me today. Well, us and do this project with me. So um, obviously, like if you can see this little divot right here. All wood is not equal when they cut it, but um, you can always find an edge or a side to line it up like how I'm doing now. That'll make it fit perfectly. So we're going to glue the second tier together or put some glue down for the second tier to glue it together if we can get it out. Hopefully we didn't use too much from the first go around because that would be horrible. But anyway, back to the movie on Netflix. So that one was um they were like i said basically um at the windmill trying not to yeah we don't need all of this trying not to um be taken away <laughs> recycle <laughs> trying not to be taken away by the devil or you know be oh shit or trying not to be um taken away to hell rather yes and um, so if you've ever seen that movie, um, Devil, where those people were like stuck in the elevator, it's sort of kind of the same premise. So, and if you like that movie, then you would like this one, I would think anyway. It's sort of kind of like a made for TV, <laughs> but it was still good in my eyes. Did you like it? Yeah. Okay. So it was still good. Okay. So in order, and this is what we did the last time. In order to just glue this down, we 
we're just gonna put glue on this side and then flip it over. You don't have to do it this way, this is just easier for us. And now you can, once I flip it over, you don't see any more of this, <laughs> then you'll kind of see the um, it forming up. came up just a little bit so we need some for the last part okay so I'm gonna put this on there like that and I'm messing it up with my glue all over my damn hands and we're just going to flip it over like I said I don't have wood clamps so if it loosens up that's fine we're just putting it back down onto the base that we made for it. Make sure it's all lined up and even on all sides. And you just want to eyeball it. You can kind of feel it too, that if, if it's not lined up properly, but ours is. And now we're just going to add our last piece of wood. So this was easy, right? Add our last piece of wood. Um, to this part of the base so that we have our third tier and if you want to get fancy you can add um, bars to the side you can do little shelves if you want just make sure if you wanted to um, it will have to be another two by four or something sturdy you, well you can't really see that but you get the idea something sturdy that these won't be too heavy on or you can get some you know slimmer um, I was about to say bricks. <laughs> Some slimmer pieces of wood. Okay. So, oh, I forgot. Put it on this part first. this out because I have OCD and that's what I want to do you don't have to if you don't want to um, you can actually use less glue if you want this is just my personal preference this is what we did um, and this is what works for us so hopefully at my next event I will um, do a little montage for you if you will and you guys can actually um, see me using these because I did make two well we made two because she loves me unlike baby hands over here in the corner she didn't want to help us but it's okay love you okay so we're just gonna set this together like that now I do um use what are you doing in here Toby has been trying to get it, Jessica, ever since she came over <laughs> here. But anyway, I do have 15 pound bags of, and yes, I meant bags with an S. But I do have 15 pound bags of um, baking soda, and I'll be putting that on this tier, on the top tier, so that um, it's something heavy on the top and that uh, the glue will stay. And then I'll be using something else to push the um, front bar up against the second tier so that it doesn't um, pull away from it. So what I'm going to ask Jessica to do is to help me turn this around so you guys can see this all in one. Hopefully you can see it. And our little flimsy <laughs> emoji thing won't fall. And then we'll pull this down. I'm gonna pull the camera back some and just you can tell me if you can um, see it all clear when I pull it back. I'm getting this stuff everywhere. Go right there. I just 
dropped. Nobody's gonna buy this if I keep dropping them one of them. <laughs> so, Jessica said you guys can, oh, wipe out. That's because Jamia left that thing there. What is this? Is this a varnish? Yeah. Okay. Unorganized. Hashtag, you better relate. Anyway. <laughs> Okay, so these are our three tiers, if you can tell. Um, I'm going to just take my gloves off for a second. It's really not a great idea, but I'm going to do it anyway. So let's say um, you're at an event and you're using this. I'm just going to put this down so that nothing gets damaged. But this will be your soap, you know, in the front. And then you can take another product and place it on. I'll just use this for the second tier. And then um, we have some hand sanitizer on the third tier. So you can see the different levels that this gives you. And if you wanted to do another one, it'll go higher and higher. So that is today's video and hashtag tutorial for a um, event display. So if you guys like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. <laughs> Where's your thumbs up? Please give, well, give us a big thumbs up because I did have a special guest <laughs> and helper today. And she will be back. She doesn't know this, but she will because she has to make soap. <laughs> but um, as always, you guys, stay well. And be well and stay blessed. Lord, I'm forgetting my own words. And until next time, bye for now. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. There you have it, folks. Another fine creation from Body Garbage. If you're new to this channel, don't hesitate to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on future videos. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button and leave a comment down below. If you'd like to purchase any of our products, our website links are down below as well as all of our social sites where you can follow us and see more. Thank you guys for watching and as always, be well and stay blessed and bye for now.